हेलो स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास फाइव लेट स्टार्ट द चैप्टर ब्लो हॉट ब्लो कोड फ्रॉम लुकिंग अराउंड बुक सो लेट स्टार्ट बाय रीडिंग द स्टोरी देयर वाज ए वुड कटर एवरी डे इन द मॉर्निंग ही यूज टू गो टू द फॉरेस्ट टू कट वुड इन द इवनिंग ही वुड सेल द वुड इन द सिटी वन डे ही वेंट डीप इन द फॉरेस्ट इट वॉज अ वेरी कोल्ड विंटर ही फिंगर्स वेर बिकमिंग नम्प so here numb means uh, becoming senseless every now and then the woodcutter would put on his axe and bring his hands close to its mouth then he would blow hard on them to warm them so students we also blow in our hand in winter season when we feel very cold not only hand uh, not only blow from our mouth we also rub both the hands each other and by friction force heat energy produced which makes us feel warm and also blow from our mouth the woodcutter also did the same process while he was cutting trees by his axe in the winter while he was cutting wood mia balistie was watching him from a corner mia balistie saw the woodcutter kept blowing on his hand so who is mia baliste here mia baliste is the funny man in the picture you can see wearing a pink color dress with a uh, blue print and uh, a tiny person so he was watching the woodcutter from the corner and he saw that woodcutter kept blowing on his hand he began to wonder what all that was about but he could not understand it he got up thinking that he would go and ask the woodcutter after walking a little distance he came back thinking that woodcutter may not like being asked finally mia baliste could not help himself and he went hopping to the woodcutter and said hello brother if you don't mind can i ask you something seeing this tiny person the woodcutter was amazed and amused but he did he smiled and said of course of course ask what you want to all i want to ask is why do you blow from your mouth or do your hands said mian balistie so it seemed that mian have not seen before doing such thing like the woodcutter doing that is why he was surprised by seeing the woodcutter blowing from his mouth the woodcutter replied the question it is too cold my hands are frozen so i blow on them to warm them up a little then when they get cold again i warm them again by blowing so in the winter season while the woodcutter was cutting trees with the help of saw axe sorry axe so heat energy is releasing from his hand for that his hand got cold and when the hand got cold he warmed it by blowing mia balistia nodded oh ho so that's it and what that he moved off but he stayed nearby and kept a close watch on him soon it was afternoon the woodcutter began to think of lunch he picked up two stones and made a chula so in the picture you can see using the two stone Uh, the woodcutter made a chula and he lit a fire and put a small handi handi means a, a pot like a hari the wood was damp so the woodcutter bent down and blew on the fire to help in burn belistia was watching him from a distance are he said to himself there he goes again blowing from his mouth does fire come out from mouth <laughs> so woodcutter was uh, surprised that now what the woodcutter was doing for boiling potato whether he boiled the potato by using fire from his mouth The woodcutter was feeling very hungry. He took out a potato from the handi. He tried to eat it, 
but the potato was too hot he again began to blow on it foo foo so children you have seen in village areas uh, when food is being cooked with the help of chula or um, fuel like uh, wood or dry leaves uh, sometimes the villager used to blow from their mouth by using a pipe by doing so what actually they do by doing so they um, remove the smoke that form during burning process so by removing the smoke and uh, blowing more amount of air into than burning substance we know that air helps in burning and especially the oxygen helps in burning so supplying more amount of uh, air so that it come in contact with the burning substance so it helps the fire to burn properly so woodcutter also was doing the same way so that the damp wood burn properly but baliste was amazed by seeing this how is it possible so are said baliste to himself he is blowing again now what is he going to burn the potato now after blowing a few more foo foo on it the woodcutter put it in his mouth and began to eat it now the woodcutter blew from his mouth to cool down the potato so this time the air coming from his mouth is colder than the hot potato so when the cold air come in contact with the hot potato it can takes out the heat from the hot potato so it makes the potato cold now mian was very surprised he just could not stop himself and off he went hopping to the woodcutter hello brother he said if you don't mind can i ask you a question again the woodcutter replied not at all ask whatever you want mia balistia said this morning you told me that you blew on your hands to warm them up now you are blowing on this potato which is already so hot why do you want to make it hotter no no my little friend this potato is too hot i am blowing on it to cool it down when he heard this mia balistia's face become white he began to tremble with fear and started to back away the woodcutter was a good man he said what's wrong mia are you trembling because of the cold but mia balistia kept going backward when he was safe distance away he said to himself what kind of creature is this surely he must be a ghost or jinn blow hot blow cold with the same breath it is just not possible that's right there are something which just not be cannot be but they are this story is written by dr jakir hosen former prime minister sorry former president of india no the student the uh, story is very beautiful and a funny story but with the beautiful story dr jakir hosen help us to learn and know about the hotness and coldness why they are relative now the same breathing burns help the woodcutter to warm his hand second to lead the chula thirdly to cool down potato so in the first case when uh, he warmed his hand the air coming from the mouth is hotter than the surrounding and the hand for this the hand gets the heat energy from the air coming from his mouth and it warm secondly when he uh, lit the fire then the air comes out from his mouth helps to supply more air into the burning wood so that it burn properly third time when he blew in the hot potato the air is colder compared to that of the hot potato so the hot potato come in contact with the air which is colder and release heat and become cold so mia balistia was confused when he saw the woodcutter blowing on his hand to make them warm and on the hot potatoes to cool them 
Have you warmed your hands in winter by blowing them when they are cold? How does it feel? Yes, we do. And it feels warm and comfortable. Blow hard from your mouth onto your hands. How did you find the air from your mouth as compared to the air around? If we blow hard on our hands compared uh, to the air, that is cooler. Now put your hands at some distance from your mouth and blow again. Does the air from your mouth feel warm? No, it feels colder. Why? Because the air coming from our mouth when we blow hard, it passes through a narrow gap and as a result it loses some energy. So it feels colder. Now if we if we blow air from the mouth by opening it wider then the air comes out that feels hotter but when we blow air blow air by opening our mouth narrow then the air feels colder now put your hands at some distance from your mouth so what will you feel when we put the hands some distance away from the mouth it feels colder why because when uh, the air covers some distance it releases heat energy to the surrounding air so here you can see in the picture where the two girls are blowing air on their hands one time placing the hand near to the mouth and second picture placing the hand away from the mouth so when away from the mouth then the air cover some distance so during covering the distance the air release heat energy to the surrounding air which is which is colder so and during the collision with the molecules of the air it also transfer energy and as a result it lose energy and become colder okay now Go to page number 142. Think and tell. Can you think of any other way in which you use your warmth from your breath? Yes, we do. When we get wound in our eye area or in the forehead, we fold a piece of paper, a piece of cloth three or four times. Then we breathe hard on it or blow hard on it, sorry, from our mouth. Then it feels warm and it relieves from the pain. Balistia saw that the woodcutter was trying to cool the hot potatoes by blowing on them. What would have happened if he had eaten the potato without cooling? You would burn his mouth, its tongue. Have you ever burned your tongue uh, when you ate or drank something that was too hot? Yes, we have burnt our tongue. How do you cool some food when it is too hot? We cool food by using hand pan, fan, by keeping the food under the fan, by blowing air, etc. By stirring with spoon. If you were to cool these three hot things like dal, roti, rice, in which way do you sow? Dal we generally by pouring it into a, a dish, large plate or stirring with a spoon. Roti by tearing and blowing air rice by spreading but the thali or this and blowing air by hand fan or keeping it under the fan now in this picture mini tried to cool her tree by blowing on it which do you think will be a hotter mini's tea or the air she blew from her mouth of course mini's tea is hotter than the air she blew Picture 2, Sonu was feeling very cold. He kept blowing on his hands. Now think and write which will be cooler, Sonu's hand or his breath? Of course, Sonu's hand. During winter, our hands are cooler than the breathing air, the air we breathe out. So here, the same air one time is colder and one time feels hotter. So, hotness and coldness is just a relative terms. We say one thing hot or cold with respect to another thing. Okay. 
okay children so today up to this much next day we will learn more about this chapter thank you